I don't think anyone's ever shared this product research method before and honestly for a while I didn't think that I would either but here it goes what's up welcome back everyone first of all congrats to the giveaway winner contact me on Facebook so that we can make this work and if you want to win the next one this is where I give you guys a chance to have a free one hour call with me we can discuss anything you want all you have to do is click the like button subscribe and leave a comment now before I start this video I just want to ask you something can you please let me know where you're at in your Amazon journey? Just leave a comment and let me know where you're at. Even if you haven't started, let me know in the comment section below just so that I can know what to, what to focus my videos on, what to give you next. If you're in the supplier negotiation part, then I do less product research videos. Just let me know and I'll be very grateful. So in this video, I'm showing you guys a product research method that I have never seen before on YouTube. I'm sure someone has a video somewhere on it, maybe, maybe not, but I haven't seen any. And this method is probably how I find most of my products. I told you in the last video that I'm starting a new product and I found that one using this method. The reason I love this method and the reason I wouldn't mind sharing it with anyone is because unlike Jungle Scout where everyone's searching for the same criteria and everyone's finding the same products, this method, there's it's almost impossible for two people to find the same product. You'll see why. Oh, and quick update on my own FBA journey. If you guys don't know, it's been a month since I haven't sold anything because Amazon took down my listing. Last week, I created a new listing and I'm starting from scratch in terms of reviews and everything, but I don't mind that. I didn't have that many reviews to start with. So now in the process of either moving the, the old inventory into the new listing or ordering more uh, products to that new listing. So I'll show you guys results as soon as I see any. So let's jump into my computer so we can start this uh, video and show you guys how I find these crazy products with such a simple method. So the reason I say that this is kind of hard to teach is just because of that first step that I'm about to show you. If you can get past that step, then you've opened some crazy gates to, uh, to product research with Amazon. Sorry for interrupting guys, but for some reason my phone decided to not film any of the rest of that video, so I'm just gonna have to do it again. Let's do this. So the whole idea behind this product research method is that you can go to someone's listing and then go to the reviews at the on the bottom and then you can click on someone's name, like the reviewer's name. Once you do that, you can see the whole list of products that they reviewed in the past. So the idea behind this method is to find someone who's an active reviewer of FBA products. Now, what does that exactly mean? It's just someone like maybe me and you who are in that FBA community and who review a lot. If you've reviewed a product before, then you could probably look at who else reviewed that product and see their profiles. That's one way of finding these reviewers. The other way, so there's two ways. The first one was that one. The second way is, the way I do it is I think of popular FAA products, popular FAA products that were selling before and now got too competitive or are selling now and are too competitive. So an example of these uh, products is the Angleizer. I don't know if you guys have heard of this product, but at one point everyone was selling that product. It was selling at $20 and, and then uh, it went down to like six dollars and then when it started it was these yellow ones that you see over here And then someone differentiated and did the black one, but then now everyone's doing the black one So that's a product that was very hot at one point, but then no one uh, I mean it got too too competitive So that's a product that a lot of FBAers started and you can assume that they got reviews from people who are actively reviewing FBA products so this might be a bit confusing because if you're new to product research, you might not even think of that product or you might not have any idea of, uh, you know, what are some hot products or products that got over uh, saturated. But if you've been doing this for a while, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. If not, then either try to think of products that everyone was selling at some point or do that first method where if you've reviewed a product, you can look at who else reviewed it as well. So, or you can use this example that I'm showing you now, you can use the angleizer. So what I do here is I choose any listing, all right? So let's choose this listing, let's open it, and let's see the reviews. So I click on 20 customer reviews. Well, as usual, you, can, you guys can click on the seller and then, let me show you, and then click on products and see what else they're selling. But that's not the point of this video. You can do that anytime you're doing product research. So let's go down to the reviews and then I would click on a review that has five stars because obviously if you're asking someone to give you a review, they're not going to give you less than five stars and even better a review with an image because who's going to take, you know, the time out of their day to take an image and upload it on you on uh, what's it called on Amazon. It's probably going to be someone who was asked by someone to do it. So I clicked on the name Caroline 
And then as you can see here, these are all the products that she's reviewed. So this is like a catalog of FBA products that, you know, someone did the research and all you have to do is just browse through them. So what I do here is just the next step in product research that I usually do. Um, so I wouldn't choose clothing. You're not going to sell clothing or watches. And let me say this, this, you're not always going to find someone who's an active reviewer. So if you find that they reviewed one or two products, then, you know, it's useless. Or if you find that they've reviewed a lot of products, but not all of them are five stars, then it could mean that they're just, you know, just a normal person buying a product and giving their honest opinion. But if all the products are five stars, then it might be that they were asked to put these five stars. So again, I'm not going to look at clothing or shoes because we're not going to sell those. So the angleizer, that's what we just saw. Um, not watches, of course, not socks. I mean, maybe, but no. Let's look at this one. So I'd click on it. And then you go to this page and on the right, right here, you click on the title and it takes you to the listing. Again, you can click on the seller and see what else they're selling, but you know, you can do that later. So the next step is, as usual with your product research method, to take the main keyword, um, I'd say LED clip string lights, and then search it in all departments. Don't be too specific, you wanna search as broad as possible. And then run the Jungle Scout uh, web app. I mean, the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. Uh, now, let me just show you this thing. You see these numbers here? I don't think you guys have these. And if you do, it's because you have the extension. So these are coming from a Chrome extension. I think it's this one, DS Amazon Quick View. And this really makes everything easier because just as I'm scrolling, I can see all the rankings and the reviews on the side. So technically, I don't really need um, Jungle Scout web app, I mean Chrome extension, but it just makes things easier. So let's click on that and see everything in one place. Okay, so the sales look pretty good, except for this guy. I don't know what he's doing with life. Get your shit together, bro. <laughs> so the sales are not bad. Reviews are very good. Look at this guy with one review. He's doing $3,000 in revenue per month. That's crazy. And there's not one brand dominating that first page. The prices are not too bad. They're a bit scattered, but I'm guessing it depends on how many lights there are in each. Um, patio lawn and garden is probably not gated. I, I usually forget which ones are or not. Just check. Uh, rankings are pretty consistent, except for these two outliers. I don't know why. And as I said, the reviews are pretty good. So that's it. And there's no Amazon. There's not that many Amazon sellers, especially not in the top uh, few listings. And most of them are FBA. So that's a very good sign. So I think we, we just found a product in like five minutes. Um, let me just say that this might be, these numbers might be inflated because of Christmas season. And I'd say this is a Christmas product, but at the same time, you know, it could sell during the summer. It's just a decoration for your house. It doesn't have to be a Christmas product, but it is a giftable product. It is something that would sell more during this time. So what I would do to make sure that it's selling during the whole year, let's choose any uh, listing. I'm going to choose this one because it's not Amazon's choice. It's just a random listing. It's not something that's, you know, it's not the best listing. So I opened it. And then if I scroll down again, you see this loading here, right here. So this is coming from another extension, and I think it's this one, Keepa. I'm gonna have a link in the description for all these uh, extensions. Download them, they help you a lot. Uh, they're free, I'm not getting any money if you download them, and they're free for you. So this shows you a graph of the ranking over time and the price over time. So this is over three months. I can click all, this shows you since they started. Uh, the price, I don't care about too much, Actually, yeah, I want to see that it's been uh, that it's been consist consistent. So the green line is the graph is the uh, ranking, and as you see, I mean here in December, it's less than a thousand, and then during the other months, let's say August, it's still around one thousand. So it hasn't changed much. It's always been selling that much. So it's a good sign. It's a very good sign. It means that it's not only selling in uh, during Christmas it could keep selling after Christmas and during summer so it's not a seasonal product even though it might seem like it is and 
What's even better is that you can uh, you can market it as a seasonal product. What I mean by that is that I think they have. Oh no, they don't. Let me just go back and show you what I mean exactly. Um, Chris, see, wedding party, Christmas home. Now, if it was me, if it, if it were me, and it was December now, I'd put Christmas way at the beginning of the of the title to show that it's a Christmas product, and you know. If they didn't notice it, then they'd see Christmas in the title. So this is how I use this method to find products. As you saw, I found a product in like a few minutes. And if we didn't like this product, let's say this one sucked, there wasn't demand enough or it was too competitive, I would just keep scrolling and then look for another product. Or I would just go back to where I got this from, choose another listing, let's say this one. And then again, you can look at the seller, but not now. 162 reviews. That's a lot of reviews. Yeah, usually I choose one with less reviews because it's most probably someone who just started and and they're getting you know fake reviews. So let's look at this one. April. She put two pictures, or he put. I'm assuming it's a she. 116 reviews, and all of them are five stars. What is this? <laughs> no food or drink sign. So let's look at this one, for example. Click on the title right here. And again, diaper bag. I think I've seen this before. Multifunction. Let's do this. Diaper bag. Hey. Hey. Multifunction. And then all departments. Let's do that search again, just to show you again my thought process when I do this. Click on Jungle Scout Chrome extension, I got it t right this time. And there you go. Pretty good demand, slightly competitive. I don't like seeing thousands, honestly. But if there's hundreds, I wouldn't mind it as long as I see someone with like 35 and doing well. With 35 and doing 9,000, um, maybe if I see someone with something between 10 and 20 reviews, I'd feel even better. So this is a bit competitive, depends on, you know, depends on you if you decide to, uh, to take a risk and try this. It's a bit less competitive than the competitive ones. So yeah, there's not, actually there are, there's Hapton who's selling the top two or the top two and the top three, but not really one person dominating that first page. Pricing is very good. I like expensive products. Baby is not uh, gated. Sales good. Reviews, I take competitive, except for like these ones where it shows you some hope. And then FBA, 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 that looks good. So that's another product that, you know, is not as attractive as the other one, but still, we just found two products in like two seconds. <laughs> so this is it mainly. The whole point is to find these active, active reviewers uh, how to find them. One, if you reviewed a product, look at who else reviewed it. And then two is to think of these hot uh, products that are too competitive now or even not that competitive. You can you can find you can look at any product that's hot now and then look at the reviewers. And then the once you get to that reviewer's uh, profile, you just want to make sure that it's really an active reviewer, not just someone, you know, leaving reviews because they bought that product and they're leaving an honest review. And then you just do the rest of the research uh, process where you check Jungle Scout and everything else as I showed you. So I hope this helped you. If you find a product with this method, please let me know in the comments. If you wanna see anything else in the future, let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. In the next video, I'm showing you guys a very important step in Amazon FBA uh, selling, and that's creating the product listing. And it's very important to do that very early. I'll show you what I mean exactly by that in the next video. So if you want to see that, please subscribe and click on the bell so you get notified when I post. And I'll see you in that video. Peace.